Good morning. It's 10 a.m. It's Sunday. You know what that means? It means it's brand new I rate your teams video. Let's do it. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you guys are into sports betting, check out Flora Bet. I'll leave a link in the description where they provide a telegram of very good forecasts. Now, if you're out here looking to get featured in next week's episode, it's really simple. This is all you have to do. Go on to your console, for example, Xbox or PlayStation. Go on to FIFA and take a quick screenshot. It's really easy. On PlayStation, you press the middle button in and you press the, the share button and you can take a screenshot. On Xbox, you do the same thing, but I believe it's the Y button. Um, or whilst you're in game, you can just press the share button straight away and it will take you out to the screenshot. And then you can, uh, you can select screenshot. From here, all you have to do is tweet me this screenshot aka on Twitter. Um, give me a brief description, preferably add two screenshots, what you start and what your team is in game. Give me a description, you know, how many coins have you got, who's tradable, who's untradable, for example. Um, and just tweet me the team with the hashtag it's Haber so I can find it. It's as simple as that. Now, my team's changed quite a bit since the last episode. Um, and we're going to have a look at it now. So uh, this is what my team is currently looking like right now. In terms of weekend league, I'm currently 14 and 5. I really should be a lot better than that. I should be, in my opinion, 17 and 2. Um, but we're 14 and 5. Uh, I've been playing well, but I've, I've taken a couple losses. One loss was really silly. And then the next loss after that was because I was already angry at the first loss. So I just played whilst I was angry. And it's never a good idea to play whilst you're angry. But we are here. We just picked up Neymar. Um, he's playing at left mid. We've had Messi this weekend, 17 games, 27 goals, 4 assists, unreal return from Messi. Um, Mbappe up top, as always, uh, 45 goals, 42, uh, sorry, 45 games, 42 goals, uh, 40, uh, 32 assists. So, um, what's that, like 74 goal contributions in 45 games. Uh, we've got Usmane, who plays right mid, as always. And uh, and then, in terms of the defence, we've just bought Alex Tellez, who, that just reminds me, needs a shadow card on him. And the game is being really, really laggy right now. So uh, he actually needs a shadow card on him. He's just, he's not quick enough. Um, he definitely needs a shadow card. Let me quickly go ahead and do that. Um, but we've gone past shadow cards. That's amazing. Good one, Ryan. Well done. I'm tired. I'm not going to lie. Um, so we're going to get into your squads. And we're going to have a look at your squads. I'm going to talk talk to you guys about your squads improvements you guys can make. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. Let me know down below what your weekend league record is. And let's have a look at some squads. I'm going to do it a little bit different this episode. Uh, instead of just picking out random ones, I'm going to go through and just uh, talk to you guys briefly about your squads. So we can get through more squads. And so you guys are more satisfied about being in the video. So the first one's going to be from Oscar, who I think has already been in, uh, in the room review before but we're gonna even give him a second one he's got 500k for improvements he's currently eight to nine in foot jumps hoping for gold three so this is what he starts with and then he plays in game he's got 500,000 coins for improvements okay my brother first thing you're gonna have to do straight away in my opinion you're gonna have to change up here you're gonna have to go with Varane at left center back then uh Ferlin Mendy at left back and then Luka Modric at left center mid uh, the next thing I would do, who are you playing at CDM? Goretzka. That's not too bad. Goretzka's pretty decent. Um, I would then go with at uh, centre mid, Kevin De Bruyne. Um, and then at right right wing, I would go with... You know what? I, I would keep Bernardo Silva. I think that you'd benefit more from having Modric over here where Gundogan is, and then Kevin De Bruyne at left centre mid. I think that you'll benefit. In fact, Bernardo Silva at left centre mid, Kevin De Bruyne at Cam would also work really well. Um, I think that would, that would work. Now, can you afford all that is a question? Probably not. If you can't afford all of that, um, I would get probably Fernandinho and uh, maybe an Isco. Isco has incredible dribbling this year. Um, and obviously, you just play Fernandinho right centre mid and Isco left centre mid. Um, but definitely Varane, Ferland, Mendy. And then if you can go with Modric and De Bruyne, do it. If not, then go with Isco and, uh, and, and Fernandinho or Rodri. Rodri's also pretty good. Uh, the reason why I say that is because... In my opinion, where you're lacking here is a really good attacking option. I don't think Arthur's amazing. Um, also, add some chem stars to these players, bro. Chem stars actually make a difference this year, I feel like. Um, maybe go with Klosterman at right back as well. Klosterman's very, very good this year. Uh, Klosterman always tears me apart. But it's a nice team. Um, I, I understand why you're struggling, though. I do understand fully why you're struggling. I, I can see why you're struggling. Um, the options you've got going forward. You've got decent two strikers. Your cam's pretty decent. But then midfield-wise, when you start getting attacked, I, Arthur and Gundogan just aren't going to support Goretzka in a way that you'd hope to. Um, that's why I think I'd change it. And then at the back, I mean, you've got two pacey centre-backs, but I think that Varane would offer more than Eder Militao. Um, and then Danny Costa has only got 81 pace, I think. So he's not actually that fast. So I'd actually go with Klosterman over Danny De Costa. Furpo's all right, but I think Ferland Mendy's incredible this year. So I'll go with that. Uh, fingers crossed you get gold three. I'm, I'm rooting for you, mate. 
All right, this next one is from Josh. What improvements can you make? You got 250,000 coins. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a saucy team, Josh. Um, What improvements can you make? That's a good question. That is a very good question. I don't know what improvements I would make to this squad, really. Um, huh. Maybe go with once to watch slash inform, yeah, inform Coutinho at, at, at Central Camp. Um, I would possibly go with that and then swap Delaney and Goretzka over so that they get full chemistry. I would say that's the only change I would make to your squad, mate. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't see a single change otherwise I'd make. Uh, yeah, I would say swap Delaney and Goretzka and go with Coutinho Central Camp. That is about it for your team. Incredible. Very very nice. I, I like this team a lot. I think it's really really nice. Uh, the next thing you do after that is go for icons probably. Um, yeah, that's what I'd say. It's a very very nice team. Uh, moving on with this is Max's team. He's got hundred thousand coins. Any improvements? Let's have a look. Very nice front line. Messi is incredible this year. My favourite player. Uh, Martial, Rashford, great partnership there. Why now, but Cam? You can do better than that, mate. You can do a lot better than that. Um, I see why you've done that. I totally understand why you've done that. How many coins you got? 100,000 coins. Can you afford Ericsson with 100k? That is a question. Can you afford Ericsson with 100,000 coins? Yes, you can. Just. Uh, I'd go with Ericsson at Cam. Uh, everyone will still be on full chemistry there. I would say that you can do better than Wijnaldum for a camp. Ericsson would probably be a lot better and add a lot more going forward. Uh, aside from that, very nice. Very nice indeed. I see you've got a really nice bench ready to bring on as well. Uh, looking good. Looking very good. Uh, moving onwards now. Uh, this is Jack's team. Uh, what's he got? He's got 150k. It's also a road to glory. Plays 4-2-3-1 in game. Hernandez and Delaney untradeable. Uh, got, okay. So 150k. Hernandez and Delaney are untradeable. We're two good untradeables to have, to be fair. Uh, you play a 4-2-3-1 in game. So I'm guessing you go with Delaney and Goretzka at CDM and then cams across the board with Werner up top. What would I change for 150k? That's a good question. How much is uh, Varan? That is a good question. How much is he? Is he 232k? Okay, he's a little bit too expensive there. What about what about Sergio Ramos? Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Foot bin, there we go. Uh, what about Sergio Ramos? Hello, Ramos? How much are you, buddy? 184. Or what, are you on Xbox? No, PlayStation. Can you can you grind an extra 30,000 coins to get Ramos over at Melatao? I just think Ramos is great this year. I think Ramos is fantastic this year. And I would personally go with Ramos over Eder Militao. That is my personal opinion, though. Obviously, people's opinions will differ. And that is the beauty of it. That's the beauty of an opinion. These videos have been getting a lot of stick in the comments recently because people think that because they have a different opinion to me, that my opinion is wrong. My opinion is not wrong. My opinion is an opinion based on how I've played this game. So please, 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 in the comments, don't roast me if I say something that you don't agree with. It's just personal opinion. That's all it is. Next team is from Luke Potter. He's got 400,000 coins, plays a 4 1 2 diamond. Uh, Felix and Hazard ST. Casemiro CDM. Any suggestions? 400,000 coins, and you've got this team. Damn. That's nice. So Hazard and Felix up top. Casemiro CDM. I see how that works. Um, 400k. 400k. I would personally, unless Hazard is untradeable, I would sell ones to watch Hazard. I would purchase Hazard's normal card. In fact, let me actually have a look at what the difference in price is. Uh, how much is Hazard's one to watch card? 815k, 500k. That gives you an extra 300,000 coins to work with. Plus the 70k gives you... How much is he? Because um, what I'm saying is I think you buy a Leo Messi, mate. It's a million coins, though. Can you scrape towards Leo Messi? You've got 400,000 coins right now. Can you sell the ones to watch versions of your cards and use their normal versions, including De Jong? Can you use the normal version of De Jong, Felix, and Hazard? Sell their ones to watch versions and get up to Messi? Because Messi is next level in this game and he will add so much to your attack. You will be blown away by how much he adds to your attack. I would personally say do that. If not, with 400,000 coins, I think the next thing you possibly look to do is... Potentially go with Kyle Walker right back and... No, actually, Kyle Walker plays for City, doesn't he? I was going to say Kyle Walker and then Davidson Sanchez. That wouldn't work. Get Ferland Mendy at left back if you can't. If you can't get Messi, get Ferland Mendy at left back, Varane at left centre back, Lloris in goal and Davidson Sanchez. That's what I would say. Um, I think that would probably add more value to your squad. But it's a nice squad nonetheless. Uh, interesting ones to watch cards. Uh, next one is from uh, Ethan. He's got 50,000 coins. Everyone is tradable other than Endon Bele, obviously. Um, oh, that's a nice squad. I like the French connections. Um, 50k to work with. 
Not much you can do with 50k here, I'll be honest with you. Not much you can do at all with 50,000 coins. Uh, I would say keep everything the same. With 50k, there's really no upgrades you can make. The next upgrade in this squad is Kante. And obviously with 50,000 coins, you're not really going to get to Kante. Um, so I would say just stick with what you've got and then push forward and try and get that extra coins from rivals and foot champs and stuff like that to then eventually go towards Kante. Uh, next team is from Moinal. Uh, this is Moinal's squad. This is a nice Bundesliga side. Uh, he plays 4-2-3-1, got 300,000 coins to spend. Get rid of Eggestein. I, I don't believe in subbing people off at the start of the game. I think that's a terrible idea in my opinion. Uh, get rid of Campbell and Eggestein. Get Inform Havertz and... You look for a CDM, Witzel. Inform Havertz and Witzel, and then probably Theo Hernandez at the centre back. Theo Hernandez instead of Mikiel. Uh, Inform Havertz instead of Campbell, and then Axel Witzel instead of Egerstein. I think that's Egerstein. If I'm if I'm wrong, I do apologise. And a Kanji instead of Tar. There you go. Your team has been massively improved. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, next team is from Liamza. Says fifty thousand coin budget. Everyone in the team is tradable apart from bench. How can I improve? Let's have a look. How can you improve? That's a good question. You got 50,000 coins. Okay. Um, good question. How can you improve this squad? Your left side's great. You've got a very slow attack. Can you possibly... How much is Luis Suarez in this, in this game? I can't imagine it'd be that much. But possibly will be. 81,000 coins. And then Cavani, I'm guessing, is about 20k. I would guess Cavani is about 20k. Yeah. So that's about 100,000 coins worth of plays you can release. Um, I would personally go with... It's a tough one. I would personally try, if you can, to get De Jong and uh, Inaki Williams. Yeah. Go with De Jong and Inaki Williams. Inaki Williams up top. De Jong as your right cam. That will give chemistry to Arthur and De Jong. Inaki Williams will be on full chemistry. Um, everyone will be on full chemistry. And then, of course, you're playing De Jong and Arthur at CDM. Uh, and then Hammers at, at cam with, with Di Maria and Martial. And you've got Inaki Williams up top. That's how I'd improve your squad. Uh, next one is from uh, NFL Newton. Uh, hey, hey, before 1-2-1-2 two, two in game. New to this formation. Everyone is tradable apart from Lewandowski. 400k to improve. So you play a 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two narrow in game interesting okay uh how would you improve your squad with 400,000 coins that's a good question that is a very good question how would you bail instead of benzema playing bail off chemistry i think that's probably the only change i'd make play bail as a right forward off chem bail was really good this year he, he's a powerhouse i'd probably say bail off chemistry at left striker that is literally about it for your team um, and then for last last team, we're going to go with Kethal or Kathal's team. I don't know if I've, I've, I've said that right or not. I'm going to go with Kathal's team. Though. Excuse me. I appreciate everyone submitting the teams, and we'll go through more next year, next week, of course. Um, this is my team. I'll play the same formation in-game. I have 40,000 coins. What changes should I make? Good question. What changes should you make? 40,000 coins. This is a really well-built squad. I like this squad a lot. Um, you play the same formation in-game. Why are you playing Pookie at centre mid? That is what I have to ask you. Why are you playing Pookie at centre mid? Pookie out, Sizoko in, boom. Your squad has been rapidly, rapidly changed and increased for the better. There you go. You're welcome. Easy as that. And then probably getting rid of David Luiz as your next next bet for maybe a Victor Lindelof or an Eric Bailly. Um and getting rid of Digne for a Van Aanholt. There you go. No. Yeah, there you go. Because Sizoko will give chemistry to end on Bele. Then getting Van Aanholt, getting Eric Bai, and everyone's a winner. There you go. Perfect. That is it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, then I've just made everyone's squad better. I'm doing the Lord's work over it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, but no, if you have enjoyed, then please smash the like down below. If you like this new format, let me know in the comments if you would prefer for it to go to just five squads and me uh, rearrange their squads on foot, then that would be better for you. Then let me know in the comments down below if that if you prefer that. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for the epic support on the channel. Um, I really appreciate that you guys allow me to do this as a full-time job. You, just, you guys are epic and I do appreciate it. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.